We're joined as we are every other week by CGW's contributing editor, Hillary Rugen. Hillary, thank you for being here again. You're welcome. I'm not putting you up as the, uh, the, the, the British accented expert in all this, but we're, there's sort of a theme today about the British Open and how things are changing for that. As a native daughter, do we sometimes put a little too much mythology and romance behind the great Lynx Land golf courses? St. Andrews, of course, is the cathedral of golf. Right. But how good a golf course is it really? Well, you know, you're asking the right person, I think, because I'm an American for a plethora of reasons. One of them is our lovely weather. <laughs> <laughs> One of the many reasons I'm an American. And the weather there is revolting. So it's all a matter of choice. I remember seeing Tiger play there just a couple of years ago. And um, it was in a windbreaker and a turtleneck. And it was August. In August, yeah. So you know, it depends whether you like revolting weather. Mm -hmm. If you do, then it's a place for you. Lots of things in life are personal choice. I think all golfers at some point, like you just said, David, it's the cathedral. Mm -hmm. You need to play it. As someone once said to me, how can you go to golf heaven if you haven't played St. Andrews? So you need to go. <laughs> but, you know, there are caravans around one of the greens, and the caddies are fabulous. Yes. But you need a caddy because the greens are almost unplayable and unreadable. So there's lots of, I think, downsides as an amateur to going there. It's a different kind of golf, too, than, than, than what most Americans are ever going to be confronted with. True. We talk about St. Andrews, and, and they are links because it's the link, the land on which the golf course is situated is right. the link between the sea and the land where they could actually grow stuff. Well, about <laughs> all they can grow here is, is grass for a golf course. Yeah. But with those prevailing winds off, off the North Sea, uh, it does blow you around a little bit, and the yeah. storms come rolling in almost regular as clockwork. Mm -hmm. So you'll, you'll start out in the sun, but you can almost be guaranteed that you're going to get a squall at some point during all that. It's, it's a great experience. I'm not sure St. Andrews, for all of its myth and legend, is as great a golf course as this year you're playing the, the four majors at great golf courses. I'm not sure St. Andrews necessarily is as great as its reputation. Well, you know, it's funny you should say that, Dave, because when you mentioned the courses this year, of course, Pinehurst Number no. 2, we just watched the U.S. Open there, and I've played Pinehurst Number no. 2, and I think it's extremely overrated. It's actually very boring. I mean, every hole looks the same. All those greens are mounded, and you can't, can't land your ball, and if go goes off to the side, there are few people who can actually remember many of the holes, because they're mm -hmm. just similar. And there aren't any great vistas. You don't get onto a tee box and say, that's magnificent, because it's the flat. Signature Holes, no, there's flat and there's pine trees and there's another mounded green. <laughs> so some of these holes, Dave, it's a tr tradition. I don't mean to belittle them. I just believe as a golfer there are a lot of beautiful vistas, a lot of beautiful courses that don't have to be the big names. All of that having been said now, Lynx Land Golf has tremendous appeal for a lot of people and that's going to uh, get yes. a lot of them over across the pond. What do natives think about all the Yanks who come over to play their golf courses? Are they, are they happy to have them there, or is there a, a little bit of resentment? Boy, it would sure would be a lot easier if they all went home. Well, things have changed. I left England in 77. I've been here, and I used to say I lived half my life in England, half in America, and I now say it's <laughs> way more than half in America. So I tend to look at things with, a, with an American perspective. Yes. But, Dave, English people have always loved Americans, and despite you know, some of the political issues around the Iraqi war, and just generally after 9-11, one thing most Americans don't realize is the airport that night was devoid of Americans because English people drove from around the countryside to pick up Americans, take them home to their houses and give them dinner. And I know somebody who works for British Airways who reported that older men who had been in the Second World War were driving into the airport saying, show me those yanks. Let me take them home. I want to take them home for dinner. And they would take them to their homes. So generally, Americans receive a tremendously warm welcome in England. I think probably of anywhere in the world, they're still our closest ally. We're very beloved in England. So if you get the opportunity, you should certainly take advantage and go over and do that. Uh, back here at home, here we are almost to August now. A lot of the summertime still ahead of us. Yes. But where are we uh, if things have been going relatively well for you so far as a player and I'm looking forward to the rest of the summer? Uh, do you have 
any particular hints, any uh, things you want to recommend to folks to think about this summer, the, to get done, places to go, things to see right now? Well, I think places to go, actually, Dave, just contrasting what I just said about the foul weather, uh, Northern Europe gets rather nice in July and August. It can do. You can't guarantee that. Uh, in fact, the problem is, as they always say about the English summer, nine months of anticipation, three months <laughs> of disappointment. Yes. Uh, but I think you want to go north. I love to go to Canada to golf in the summer. The Rockies, the ball soars in as an amateur. You can kid yourself that you can hit the ball 300 yards <laughs> <laughs> because of the, the, the thin air up there. I think Vermont is gorgeous for golf. There's a particular golf school there uh, that's special, the Stratton American Golf School. I'm going on a tour of uh, the mid-Atlantic region, a couple of golf schools, in fact, and I think golf schools are a place, great place to go. Will you tell summer. us about it when you come back? Yes, I will. Yeah. Look forward to it, Hillary. Thanks Absolutely. very much. That'll do it for this edition of Toyota's Capital Golf Weekly. Thanks very much for joining us this time. For all our guests, the entire CGW crew, I'm Dave Lucas. Play well, and we'll see you here next time.